I'm going to tie Swisher's Royal PMX, and I'm starting with a size uh, 8 hopper hook in the vise, and the thread that I use is a 70 black. I'll get this started behind the eye, take enough wraps to lock it in, and then I can remove the tag. The post is going to be a white yarn, and if you wanted to make this a more high-vis model, you can swap out white for yellow or red or anything that's going to provide more of a contrast. So I'll take a section and I'm going to measure this to be roughly half a hook shank in length. You can always come back and trim this later so I'm not going to be real particular. So I'll set it on top, take a couple of hard turns to lock it in place and then I can remove that tag and finish tying down those fibers. And then I'll create my post and I'll start by holding the material up and creating a thread dam. And that'll hold the, the post somewhat upright. And then I can start to take my wraps around the base and working up. Usually take a handful of turns up and then back down before kind of locking it in place. And I'll do that until I've got the right height that I'm looking for. And I'll use that thread to help position my post as well. And then I'll wrap this down uh, to where the ends uh, of that post were tied in. If I want I can come back through and clean this up here a little bit. So now I can tie in my tail, and for that I'm going to use an elk hair. I'll take off a section, and then I'll remove the under fur and any of the really short fibers. I can put this in my stacker to align the tips. And I want to create a uniform body to this, so I'm going to hold it on the hook shank and measure it out. And I measure mine to the end of the end of the hook, so it's a nice easy measurement. Then I'll switch grips. I'll take a straight cut that is just beyond where I left my thread, so that I can tie that in. So wrap those down and then I'll hold the tail kind of up and on top and I'll work my way back down to about the point in the hook or so and I'll come back up and tighten those fibers down. You can see how that gives you a nice uniform body. Come back and clean up any of these ends that are still poking up. Now for the uh, first piece of material for the body, I'm going to use a peacock curl. I'm going to use this on two different uh, occasions. I'll take off four strands, trim the end so that I've got an even tie-in point, and then I'll wrap those in and leave my thread just beyond the uh, the eye of the hook, or the uh, point of the hook, and I'll start to wrap those in together. I overlap slightly, and when I get to my thread, I'll hold it up, tie it off, take some turns on top, and then I will work back a little again to make sure that it's really locked in there, and I can trim those ends. The band that I'm going to use is a, a stretch floss and in red so take one strand of it and this is really durable stuff and I'll tie that in and wrap it down 
take maybe a moment to smooth out any of these bumps and I'll leave my thread behind the post. Now I can take my wraps to create that band And you can go back over it if you want. You're not going to add too much additional bulk if you really pull it tight as you go. And I'll often do this to make sure that I've filled in any gaps, if I have any inconsistencies with my body. And then when I get to my thread, I'll tie it off. And then remove it. Now the wing is going to be an elk hair as well, so I'll go through the same process by removing a section pulling through any of the short fibers in that under fur, put it back in my stacker, tap it, and then I'm gonna measure this out again the same length, so I want it to go the overall length in the hook shank. I'll switch hands, I'll take a straight cut up, and then I can tie in those ends now I can wrap in my second section of peacock curl. So another four strands. Cut them off even. And tie that into the side. And I'll also take this time to tie in both my legs as well as my hackle. So I'll start with my hackle, and that's going to be just a brown furnace hackle. And I undersize this slightly, so if this is a size 8 hook, I'm using a size 12 hackle. And I tied it in front and I'll take some wraps up the post and you can do this when you tie in your uh, in the post at the beginning but with this length up top I often find that it gets in the gets in the way so now I can tie in my legs and I'm going to use a barred grizzly leg and tan I'll double this over my thread I'll place it by my post, take two wraps to lock it in, trim and then repeat the process on the other side. So double it over, position it, a couple of wraps, and then advance my thread to the front of the, the hook here and then I can make my trimming cuts. And one thing that I like to do is I work with this. You got a lot of stuff in the front here. So I'll pull my legs up. And I'll take 
maybe two turns over top just to hold them um, out of the way while I wrap my peacock curl through. Again, a lot of material here at the front of this pattern, so anything you can do to keep some of it out of the way is great. So then I'll back that out to release the legs and then finish kind of navigating through. And then tie those off. And then I'll trim Pull those back and take a couple of turns in for good for good measure. Now I can take a scrap piece of wire and start to hold this all back while I wrap my hackle. So I'll pull this all back, I'll bring my wire through and kind of pinch it so that everything's held in place. And I'll take some turns. I don't want to be real hard with this because I don't want to crimp any of the material as I go. So now I've got everything kind of back and away. I can wrap my hackle and when I'm happy with the density I'll bring it to the near side and then I like to cut this thread underneath do that twice before I pull everything back and start to tie it off. And once I've got enough wraps in, I adjust my hook slightly so I've got a better angle at it. And I'll come back through and trim that hackle off, and then I can put in my whip finishes. trim and if you've caught any of those hackle fibers in there you can pull those off then I'll back my wire out fluff this up a bit and you can Trim your legs. And that is Swisher's Royal PMX.